Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let me welcome you wholeheartedly during this Saturday's morning at the open days of doctoral schools at the University of Warsaw. First of all, let me encourage you to prepare your PhD dissertations and to come to the University of Warsaw, which is a number one university in Poland and is one of the three percent of the best universities in the world. We have four doctoral schools with excellent staff. This will be explained in detail by the heads of doctoral schools, but let me say a few words about university itself. University of Warsaw is not only one of the oldest universities in Poland and one of the biggest universities, in fact the biggest university in Poland, but it's also one of the best universities. We've got fantastic curricula, both in humanities, social sciences, exact and natural sciences. All the ranking lists carried out globally, starting from Asia through United States and the UK, indicate that we have more than a dozen of disciplines uh, that are among the best in the world. At the University of uh, Warsaw, six Nobel Prize winners studied, not in the empirical sciences, but in the humanities. Uh, we had a Nobel Memorial Prize in economics and Peace Nobel Prize. I want to say that the University of Warsaw in the recent years has been given, awarded many research programs, more than 1,600 research programs right now, including 23 research programs financed by the European Research Council, which is a Europe-wide system for supporting research grants. This is these are our uh, grants constitute about 60% of grants across Poland. We have fantastic professors, fantastic youth, and we also have fantastic representatives of both exact natural, so social and sciences and humanities. With all these people, you will be able, once you be admitted to uh, as a doctoral candidate at the University of Warsaw, we'll be able to meet them, we'll be able to listen their le to their lectures and write doctoral dissertations under their supervision. University of Warsaw boasts with its huge potential for international cooperation. Not only you can go for student exchange and doctoral student exchange, but also you can conduct lectures abroad. If you decide to become a PhD student at our university, you will be able to listen to the lectures and also to choose supervisors from the best universities across Europe and worldwide including the universities from the United States. All those who wish to candidate and wish to be uh, and, uh, and are accepted as, uh, in fact, those who are accepted as students of, of, of doctoral schools, we offer doctoral scholarships and support for studying abroad. We also support you when uh, it comes to internship, both in the business, in the research companies, and also you can do research that is used in those companies. You can also study in foreign languages. And you can also listen to lectures in foreign languages. And that is because we have about 20 to 30 percent of foreigners who are attending our PhD programs. Those foreigners come from the best universities across the world, West European and American universities, Asian universities, and also Southern European universities. So apart from the pleasure and joy of studying, apart from carrying out research, apart from developing your own interests, you can also establish relationships friendships, those that arise during doctoral studies and MA studies. This will bring fruits for many, during many years. You will carry out joint research, you will be able to exchange your views 
in different uh, on different matters and you will be able to cooperate with these people if you come here to the university of warsaw you will come to a university that is characterized by several features one of the most important features is that you have complete liberty to present your ideas and you are able to develop and search and, 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 and and realize your quest for truth and also we value people and respect people you will be able to develop yourself but also you will be able to cooperate with other phd students many will be explained about these things uh, from the representatives of doctoral students and the heads of different doctoral schools, but let me say the following. First, when you become PhD candidates of the doc at the doctoral schools, you will be able to develop your interests that go beyond this academia we have sports clubs we have trainers so you will be able to uh, do some sports if somebody wants to do some arts uh, there is a choir at the university of warsaw there is a theater that place at the university of warsaw which has been going on for some time and you will also be able to dance and sing at the university of warsaw there is a special ensemble for this so you also be able to grow in terms of sports and arts all this has many things in common so academia sports and arts it requires passion it requires st stable actions and it requires you to to be resilient so we are waiting eagerly for you at the university of warsaw we are waiting to accept all the people who are interested in self-development in research in listening to extraordinary lectures and also to all those who want to develop develop themselves in international cooperation this is what we offer you as university of warsaw let me say the following to those who have not been to the university of warsaw that we have a modern equipment research equipment those of you who come here will see that those of you who will be at natural sciences here for those of you, let me say that we have excellent conference and lecture halls, excellent labs, so your conditions will be fantastic. I would say even better than the average European university. So, once again, we feel yourself invited Pre go come here prepare yourself for the admissions process and i do believe that we'll be able to meet during the inauguration of a new academic year and i do i'm confident that you will be satisfied with both lectures and research programs and your self-development at the university of warsaw Hello everyone, dear students, dear graduates, I'm very happy that you've decided to spend this beautiful Sunday morning with us, Saturday morning with us, in order to learn something more about the doctoral schools at the University of Warsaw. The doctoral schools at the University of Warsaw are pretty new establishments, but I think that they have already made an important part of the university. I would like to encourage you to join the enrollment procedure of the doctoral schools at the University of Warsaw and that you will join the brilliant group of many of our doctoral students who are very passionate and engaged and they are striving for the truth that i hope will change our reality at the university of warsaw we educate doctoral students in 20 disciplines 
10 in social studies, 7 in exact and social sciences, and 7 in the humanities. You have a great opportunity to complete your PhD dissertation uh, and in this interdisciplinary one, the interdisciplinary doctoral school sh will create new paths across many fields and it will perhaps create new scientific research methods, not just in Poland, but also abroad and maybe even worldwide. The University of Warsaw is one of the best uni research universities, not just in Poland, but also in our region of Europe. It will give you many opportunities to conduct research. I think that one of the most interesting programs is the Excellence Initiative Research University program. The University of Warsaw is its laureate. Our doctoral students can receive funding for research, not just at the University of Warsaw, but also for their international mobility and national mobility, both long and short term. So there is a wide array of possibilities. The University of Warsaw is the leading scientific uh, unit in Europe. It has a wonderful scientific atmosphere. When you walk around our campuses and other places that house the University of Warsaw, you can simply feel the atmosphere of science, of discussion that happens not just in the students' halls, but also outside of them. That's something that made me stay at the University of Warsaw and to fulfill my dreams and my scientific passions that transcend what we have already researched. The University of Warsaw is very special when it comes to the social life of the university. I encourage you all to join not just our doctoral schools, but to also join the PhD Students' Council. The PhD Students' Council really can encourage you and help you in your research and in all of your actions. We want you to feel our support in every part of the process. That's why we are here. We want you to feel invited to this beautiful do community of doctoral students. We do care about our responsibilities and our rights, but we also offer you many additional courses that can help you develop your soft skills. And you can also learn something more about many scientific opportunities at the university and outside of it. Dear colleagues, a doctoral dissertation and the doctoral program is a wonderful adventure and I think it's worth to pursue it. We're here for you, you're not alone, we are waiting for you so that you don't feel alone and so that you feel a part of a wonderful family of researchers, doctoral students and academic teachers. The University of Warsaw gives you many opportunities, like I've said, but it can also uh, help you to function. We try to be bilingual, both the Students' Council and the many units of the University of Warsaw try to be bilingual. If you come from abroad, if you are not fluent in Polish, and I am directing these words especially to our international students. I want you to feel our support. I want you to feel cared for. If you come from other universities or scientific centers, I want you to feel supported on your very first day at the University of Warsaw. A doctoral school is a wonderful adventure and it's worth to try it. I hope that today's meeting will help you find answers for any of your questions. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Thank you very much. I wish you to have a wonderful day and to succeed in the enrollment process. Thank you.
dobry. Miło mi powitać wszystkich państwa. Hello everybody. A warm welcome to all the candidates to doctoral schools. I'm pleased to start discussing our doctoral schools at the University of Warsaw from the school that I represent, that is to say, the doctoral school of humanities. This is a school that has been set up according to the act, the so-called Act 2.0, the Act on Higher Education. It has been established in April 2019. I'm pleased to represent Professor Monika Rykowska, the head of this school. My name is Agata Barajas-Sarzyńska. We have a council of the school, which is a sort of a parliament that decides upon day-to-day -day activities of our school. We have professors sitting on it, in it, from the boards of uh, dis uh, scientific disciplines that actually take major decisions on doctor pathway. Uh, a warm welcome from the team of our doctoral school, the secretariat, where we have excellent employees, staff members who will cooperate with you, and I hope that you will this, uh, you will decide to join our school. Of course, this is not a school for everybody. This is a school for people interested in humanities. And the training at our school is carried out in seven disciplines. These include archaeology, philosophy, history, linguistics, literary studies, culture and religion studies and art studies. As you can see on this presentation, these disciplines have different uh, admission limits. So you can see how many people we accept a year in each of these disciplines. Of course, we would like to extend these uh, admission limits, but it's not about us wanting something, but, uh, but about certain financial issues which are independent of us from the University of Warsaw, but go from the ministry. So, please do think in the first place whether your academic scientific project that you're about to carry out at the University of Warsaw belongs to one of these disciplines. If so, you are wholeheartedly invited to the PhD School of Humanities. We have an on-site on mode of training. Of course, for the last two and a half year, we've experienced long periods of online classes, remote learning, but this was extraordinary. These uh, uh, circumstances were exceptional, so in general we have on-site training. An important thing for you is that throughout the whole four years of training you get a doctoral scholarship. That is to say, you are covered financially. And in fact, the idea behind the scholarship, when the law was established, was it to be sufficient to to not to have to undertake a, another job, a second job, a side job. Unfortunately, some of our PhD candidates believe it's not sufficient. We know that, but our PhD program is not tailored to those who work on a side job. We want you to carry out intensive research so as to uh, perform your doctoral and write your doctoral dissertation throughout the period of four years. We have a competition admission process. You come with a research product project that you discuss with your would-be supervisor, the project needs to be an innovation. It needs to bring something new to the science. So we are, bu we are building a block, uh, uh, building new blocks of this whole edifice of science. You need to contribute your part to it. So that's why the, the commission, the com admission committee, is uh, paying a lot of attention to innovate innovation. It will also be paying a lot of extra, uh, attention to methodology. You have to have a clear-cut methodology. You need to know which which discipline you are in. And of course, you can use many multiple methods within a single discipline, and these need to be stated clearly. And also, the, your research project need to be feasible. You need to be able to carry it out throughout the period of four years. 
ten wynik uzyskać. Nie może być to projekt zbyt szeroki. It cannot be a project which is too broad. We do pay attention to it. You need to also specify the language of your doctoral dissertation, Polish or English. We have, in fact, two prone strategies. So we have two prone training in Polish and in English. We have other specialized classes in other languages, but nevertheless, the school concentrates mainly on Polish and English classes. The curriculum, which is an important element for you, we know that, and it makes you decide whether you want to come here or not, uh, includes different types of classes. Very often you would ask, how many time should I dedicate to this curriculum? Th there is no simple answer to this question because these programs are to a large degree tailored individually to your needs. There are of course classes that are general university classes, methodological classes, interdisciplinary classes, and uh, practical researcher classes belong to certain baskets from which you choose certain classes. And it's not that you're offered only one methodological class and all the group goes to this class on Tuesday morning. This is not the case. You have a broad range of opportunities. University of Warsaw offers you many classes so as to tailor your classes to your project and to your uh, time resources. Especially at the beginning, first year, first semester, there will be obligatory classes for all PhD students in which you'll have to take part. Of course, you should cooperate with your supervisor to carry out your project. So that is why we pay special attention to individual sessions with your supervisors. Also, we have training internships, teaching interest internships, and we have a minimum threshold of hours for this, but there are also extra opportunities for you which you can tailor individually again. After a year of you working at the doctoral school, you need to submit individual research plan. And only on the basis of this individual research plan and the project you came with to the doctoral school, is where we prepare a detailed roadmap which you'll have to carry out. If the research plan is written properly, then you are guaranteed with success. You simply go about in, uh, realizing, implementing it. But of course, you may see new pathways in your research, and that's why the f you have the first year to look around, check the sources, do some pilot studies, and then the individual research plan may differ from the initial draft research project you came to the school. The research plan can be modified up to a point at a later stage, and the moment of verification of this research plan is the so-called mid-term evaluation after two years of you studying here. Again, there is a committee of scientists who is looking into your progress in terms of applying individual research plan and what is the probability of you carrying out uh, this and completing your PhD dissertation within the next two years. It may happen that some of you won't cope with it, but our experience to date, and we've had uh, the first midterm evaluation, and it went really great at the University of Warsaw. Our doctoral candidates, it turned out, coped really well with implementing individual research plans, so no worries about that. But once you have have your dissertation prepared, if uh, ideally for you it, w it would be to finish it during four years as scheduled before, then we come to the process of uh, that leads up to the doctoral dissertation VIVA. The research you are carrying
carrying out, as has been explained, is supported by both researchers and the material conditions prepared for you. You can take part in different trips. Uh, we encourage you to go for these research trips, and that is why the plans and the research program uh, and, and your education program may be tailored to your individual needs. For example, you can go abroad for a semester. You can also take part in the four EU Plus initiative that joins, that connects four EU universities with the University of Warsaw. You can also take part in the Erasmus Plus mobility programs and other mobility schemes. So we encourage you to go abroad. Uh, this supports your activities and supports the development of your research beyond University of Warsaw, but supported by University of Warsaw and of course help you out with all the bureaucracy you need to do in order to get this assistance. University of Warsaw, as has already been explained, supports you from the Research University Excellence Initiative program where you can schedule some trips uh, and go beyond everything. You can, you, can, you can plan visits to researchers across the world and you can do that here. So we have broad opportunities to act not only in Warsaw but internationally. It all depends from your supervisor what will be your position at the university. The supervisor appears right at the beginning when you submit your research plan. You need, for the admission process, you need to have a consent from, an, uh, from a researcher who, has, uh, uh, who is a professor at the University of Warsaw or holds the degree of Dr. Habilitowany, DR. DRHAB. He needs to support you and she needs to uh, submit a written statement on this. And this person needs to be employed at the University of Warsaw. There are certain people who are indicated at the doctoral school, so you don't have to search for them necessarily. But of course, all the people who are eligible, who comply with the aforementioned uh, requirements, uh, are eligible for that. You can also have another supervisor who represents another other field or specializes in a certain discipline. You can have an additional supervisor, so you have two professors that are supervising your dissertation, and you can have also and another supervisor who only has a PhD degree and supports you as well in this process. But of course, all this needs to requires a consent from the from your main supervisor when you want to invite other people to cooperate. As you can see, our humanities doctoral school we have almost 300 PhD the candidates right now, 10% of them are international students. As you see, we have both admission limits uh, that differ and hence the, the, the number of PhD candidates in different disciplines differs. We encourage you to come to our secretariat. We work at the Dobra 56 uh, Street, which is the uh, university library building. You will get a, an expert support there. You can also ask on you can also ask more details about the research product and about any other uh, things you need to comply with in admission process. But I also encourage you to take part in the meeting that will take place uh, today at 1 p.m., where the recruitment coordinator for the PhD school of humanities will help you out and will answer all your qu questions you may have. That's it from me. Thank you very much for your attention, but let me invite you, the representative of the Council of PhD students of the, doctor, the Doctoral School of Humanities, Ms. Emanuela Rudnicka, to take the floor. 
Good morning. Welcome to our open day. My name is Emanuela Rudnicka. I represent the board of the PhD Students' Council at the University of Warsaw. During this short presentation, I would like to share some thoughts on our activities and I would also like to tell you what problems and what issues you might report to us and I will maybe encourage you to join us. But first, some practical information. The Council numbers four to six people. They are the representatives of all the disciplines. I represent archaeology, but my colleagues represent linguistics and philosophy. We started our work on the 1st of February and it will end in January next year. Usually we have additional elections in October. When it comes to our actions and initiatives, our main goal is to represent all of our doctoral school students and to and taking care of their interests. Obviously, we conduct many different projects, but one of the most important things is giving our opinions on certain documents issued by the head of our doctoral school. We write certain administrative papers, reports, and even regulation, regulatory documents. The Council actually influences the way the teaching process mm, proceeds in our school and we also participate in all the changes and modifications. We engage in discussions on the doctoral dissertation viva and we also have something to say on the doctoral school curricula. What can you talk to us about? You can always ask us about funding and subsidizing mobility and conferences, but you can also ask us about funding on international queries. We also help you solve certain problematic issues that might be difficult to understand for you, especially when it comes to the interpretation of official documents. If you have any questions on the regulations, at our university, we will of course help you. We are also open to new ideas on self-government, not just organizing PhD students' festivals and bottom-up initiatives, but also social initiatives and programs. We have been engaged in in collections connected to the situation, to the political situation. We collected food and other materials. You can contact us via email. You will find more information at our website www.doktorancidw.pl I would be really happy if you decided to join us in the next academic year and I hope that during my short presentation I managed to convey the message that our Students' Council has real impact on what is going on in our school, not just on the curriculum, but also on the day-to-day -day activities of our school. We participate in discussions on organizing space for doctoral students at the University of Warsaw Library. Even if you wouldn't like to join us, we encourage you to keep in touch with us. The feedback from doctoral students is very important for us. 
Based on this impact, we are creating the reality of our school. That's all for today. Thank you very much. I encourage you to contact us and I wish you a fruitful enrollment procedure. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I welcome you and I invite you to the Doctoral School of Social Sciences. My name is Mirosława Czerny. I am the director of the Doctoral School of Social Sciences at the University of Warsaw. I've been the head of the school since 2021. As you can see in the presentation, all of the doctoral schools at the University of Warsaw were established in 2019. So we are very young and we are gaining new experiences, but we are doing a better job now. I hope that with your help, the doctoral schools of the University of Warsaw will become even more excellent and we will be even better than now, but I think that it's safe to say that the University of Warsaw, the best university in Poland, has some of the top doctoral schools in Poland. We have three year groups of students at the doctoral school of social sciences. And our school also includes the highest number of international students. 15% of all of our PhD students are international students. From the point of view of the internal structure of the doctoral schools at the University of Warsaw, our school is the most diverse. We have 10 disciplines that you, PhD candidates, can complete your PhD dissertations in. Let me give you the names of the disciplines Economics and Finance, Social and Economic Geography and Spatial Management, Security Studies, Social Communication and Media Studies, Political Science and Public Administration, Management and Quality Studies, Law, pe Pedagogy, Sociology and Psychology. Both in this presentation and our website, you can learn the admission limits to all the disciplines. Our doctoral school tries to admit a hundred people a year out of three to four hundred candidates. We also have other kinds of doctoral programs and grantees that also complete our PhD dissertations at our school. That's why we have such a high number of students. In the next slide, you can see examples of research projects. Of course, I couldn't present all of them, all of the 300 or over 300 of research topics pursued at our school. But even this short list can show you how diverse the topics are, the topics of research at our doctoral school, and how diverse the research can be. This unique interdisciplinarity of our doctoral school is one of our biggest advantages and assets. We organize big conferences for PhD students who present the topics of their dissertations and the first results of their research. And those who attend the conferences really like this idea of the interdisciplinarity. They like talking to sociologists, geographists, psychologists, economics and legal scholars. As you can say, as you already know, security studies also concerns law and economy. So the interdisciplinarity of our doctoral school is a huge asset of our school. We are very open for any interdisciplinary topics 
that show certain issues from the point of view of several disciplines. Here you can see the step-by-step -step curriculum and the path of the PhD students at our school. You begin with taking the oath and you in the end, you defend your dissertation, so you can complete your PhD course in four years and you can obtain a PhD degree of the University of Warsaw. Of course, between those two steps, you also need to find a supervisor, you need to prepare your research plan, you need to uh, complete a midterm evaluation, which is very important for everyone, because when you get a positive midterm evaluation, you can get a raise of your doctoral scholarship. Then you submit your dissertation, but we still haven't had any defenses of the dissertation because we are simply too young for that. But we are awaiting for eagerly for our first PhD graduates. The, our doctoral students receive a doctoral scholarship. The scholarship is lower during the first two years of study at the doctoral school and it is increased after a positive midterm evaluation. Obviously, the people with disabilities receive a disability, um, a disability allowance, which makes their life at the University of Warsaw easier. A very important issue is choosing the supervisor. We assume that when you choose our doctoral school, when you choose a career path in academia, you already cooperate with uh, professors and supervisors. We have a huge group of supervisors in 10 disciplines, so all of the brilliant academics who represent social sciences at the University of Warsaw are amazing Polish scientists and you can always contact them, discuss with them, you can present your doctoral ideas and I am sure that if you, your project is interesting if it's challenging scientifically, I am sure that a brilliant professor of your chosen discipline will invite you to work with them and will accept your research plan. You can also have an assistant supervisor or additional supervisor. I'm sorry, the assistant supervisor can be a scholar with the PhD degree. They can help you with statistical data, etc. And you can also have an additional supervisor who are independent staff, academic staff at the University of Warsaw, and they can help you in your process of completing your dissertation. But if the cooperation with your supervisors isn't going as well as you thought it would, you can also change the supervisor. The duration of the curriculum is four years. It is full time. The language of instruction is Polish and English. And uh, there is a granual, uh, an annual completion audit. You have to complete 300 class hours of classes in four years, and you also have to complete an internship. You are preparing for to being an academic teacher, so you should also know how to transfer knowledge. We make it possible for you to gain these skills by introducing you to the world of academic education and instruction. 
So you also need to pass some classes in and internships. You also have practical research skills, workshops and methodological workshops. Something that is very important uh, that I pay great attention to and I am a geography scholar and I cannot imagine my academic career without mobility and without being uh, accepted and invited to international universities. I think that international mobility and exchange is a must. Obviously, some of you are not sure if they want to pursue it or if they speak foreign languages well enough, but you can always learn communicating with students and professors abroad is simply something that you can learn. Students' exchange and mobility is a very important feature of a modern scholar. Thanks to that, you will be able to learn more things about your discipline. You will have joint publications and papers, and y you can promote your research and your name as well. Our International Relations Office will be eager to help you. Uh, the basic source of funding comes from the departments and the faculties. But we also have the excellent Initiative Research University program that supports our PhD students and is a very important source of funding for international trips, for conferences and research purposes. One of our doctoral students has received um, thousands of thousands of zlotys to conduct research in Brazil. You can also have possibilities of obtaining external grants. We always support our students in pursuing that. Today you will be able to talk to our recruitment officer, Veronika Bednarska. Uh, in the slide you can see email and a telephone number. Thank you for your attention and I invite you to the Doctoral School of Social Sciences at the University of Warsaw. Hello, my name is Hubert Kuliński. I represent the Board of Students' Government at the Social Sciences Doctoral School. I'm from the communication, Social Communications and Media Sciences discipline, and I'm at the third year of the Doctoral School. So, in principle, I've been connected with the school from the, bin, from the onset, and let me show, so, show some details about my pathway in 2019 when first year uh, of doctoral schools went on, the, the previous cohort of PhD candidates was a little bit afraid and anxious about it. This was completely new for us. And the first interesting point was the admissions process. And the very process showed us that things would, wouldn't be bad. In fact, things could be very Good. Following from there, we started our education in October. Mm, we met with the then rector, Professor Marcin Powers, and we started our classes. The author of these classes was quite rich. It seemed to us that we wouldn't have time to write our dissertations or, or actually our private life or any jobs we may have. But fortunately enough, the offer, the academic offer is not only rich, but also doesn't impose any limitations as to uh, the other activities we may have, above all, writing my dissertation. So, during the third year, which I'm in, in present, and I've passed, uh, I've just passed midterm evaluation, I can tell you that uh, the training at this doctoral school is really well organized, both uh, uh, re uh, research-wise and teaching-wise. We have fantastic support from our supervisors and from administrative staff that organizes teaching offer for our students, which is constantly being reshaped, molding to our needs and necessities. 
life. I think this is the main advantage of our school and all the schools we have, doctoral schools we have at the University of Warsaw, and I do hope, as my previous speaker explained, that we will see first vivas this year and first graduates of the school. I do, I do hope that I encouraged you to, uh, to participate in the admission process uh, and hopefully see you in October. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, everybody. Let me welcome you to the open day of doctoral schools and specifically that of exact and natural sciences. I am so happy and pleased to be able to meet you. Regrettably, we need to do with an online meeting, but I think we will have an in-person meeting when you will come to the headquarters of our doctoral dissertation and you will ask any questions you may have. My name is Michał, Michał Cyrański, and together with me we have Matilda Wacławska, who is the president of the board of the students of the Exact and Natural Sciences Doctoral School. A warm welcome to her. As you know, we are relatively fresh. Our school was set up in 2019 uh, in response to the changes to the legal regulations concerning higher education. At that time, doctoral study, doctoral schools have been set up. Prior to that, we had doctoral studies which were ca con uh, which were supervised by faculties. From last year, I have a pleasure to mm, head this school. The first head was Professor Jerzy Turin. Our authorities include also schools council, which takes up the most important decisions, and I preside over the meetings of this council. At present, in our school, we have more than 350 PhD candidates, three year years of doctoral students, first, second, and third year of doctoral students, Almost 20% of doctoral candidates are international, are our international colleagues. We train in seven disciplines. On, on this slide, you have all these disciplines, both in Polish and English, astronomy, maths, information and communication sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth and environment sciences. You also have on this slide uh, the admission limits, uh, which have been awarded to specific disciplines. If you count it and add it up, we have in total 100, uh, a limit of 100 places. When it comes to maths and computer sciences, we have the Warsaw Doctoral School of Maths and uh, Computer Sciences, established by the Faculty of Mathematics, Computer Sciences and Mechanics, and the relevant institute from the Polish Academy of Sciences. As you can see, physics leads the number of places, 30 places, following maths and computer sciences, and the remaining schools have less than 20 seats reserved for them, places reserved for them. Ladies and gentlemen, why should you choose us, the doctoral school of exact and natural sciences? As you may be well aware, we are the best university in Poland, University of Warsaw, together with Univers Jagiellonian University, continuously um, lead the ranking tables in Poland, similarly to Cambridge and Oxford. So one year, uh, Jagiellonian University leads the rank table, in the other year, University of Warsaw, but undoubtedly we are in one of the top universities in Poland and in this part of Europe. This is also demonstrated, especially in relation to exact and natural sciences, by the categories, evaluation categories that certain faculties may boast about. This is now carrying, being carried out for disciplines, academic and scientific disciplines, but the previous one was carried out by, uh, by faculties, chemistry, physics, astronomy, mathematics, computer sciences, and mechanics have the A plus plus category, which is the highest category, 
that can be received, the remaining faculties, Faculty of Biology, Geology, enjoy high rankings, a category. Of course, all this would have been impossible without incredible academic staff that we can boast about at our university. Many of the research carried out at our university has, are interdisciplinary in its nature. The biggest discoveries nowadays are at the frontiers of different fields and disciplines. When it comes to a HOTA campus located at uh, where our school is located, we have two centers in which, in particular, we have uh, interdisciplinary uh, research being carried out the Center for Biological and Chemical Sciences and Center of Modern Technologies or New Technologies. The two centers have the following names. But of course, interdisciplinary uh, research is carried out within all our faculties. As I mentioned before, uh, about 20% of our PhD candidates are international students, and we also have uh, international academic staff including visiting professors for longer or shorter stays. Our friendly atmosphere, th this topic will be covered by Matilda Wacławska. I think I, ne ne I don't have to convince you that we ensure you the best and optimal possibilities for both professional and personal development and good job prospects. Of course, we are not faced with graduates of our schools right now, but uh, I do believe that uh, the graduates of this part of university have fantastic perspectives in this, in this field in this area. Now, when it comes to the curriculum, this is very broad and it includes uh, general university classes such as ethics, teaching, uh, copyright, uh, technology transfer, uh, self-presentation classes, also classes devoted to receiving grants, seminars, methodological classes, an important element of our training is the interdisciplinary conference that I'll talk about more in a second. Also lectures covering the recent, the most recent discoveries in exact and natural sciences. All the fields offer uh, teaching internships for our students. We encourage you also to go abroad, as mentioned by the head of the students' government at the University of Warsaw. We have many opportunities for supporting such trips for, from the Excellence, uh, Excellence uh, Initiative Research University program and the Erasmus Plus program. So we support our doctoral candidates in this area. And also we offer advanced courses, specialized lectures within the uh, specific disciplines and fields. Our interdisciplinary conference takes part biannually, sorry, twice during the whole teaching process, the second course, during the second course and during the fourth course. Up until now, we've organized two conferences. Despite the harsh conditions of the pandemic, we managed to organize one of these on site at the uh, Geological Education Center at Hanchiny. I think this European Education Center is an excellent place that will host many of you in the future. On this slide, you can see the lecture hall and the participants. You can see the first head of our school, Professor Jerzy Turin. The conference was carried out by a splendid scientists and your older colleagues, PhD candidates. As you can see, this lecture hall is incredible. It's shaped in stone and it's impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, is it hard to be admitted to our school? I would say not that difficult. It's not beyond uh, your reach. 
And on this slide, you see the number of candidates per place, per discipline. As you can see, the competition is, is like two people per one place, so I think it's not that huge. The easiest bit is to become an astronomer. Of course, you need to comply with certain requirements, of course. And what are these requirements? Talking about them, these are presented on this slide. We are assessing research projects elaborated and prepared together with the supervisor. We are also assessing research activity of the candidate and the exam, which may be written or oral exam, and also um, um, the discussion we, held, we hold. But you see that the exam and the discussion, the interview, are the most important elements of it. What do you need to do in order to apply for a, for a place at our school? First of all, you need to find a, the supervisor. These supervisors, you may find them on our web page, but in fact, the choice is not limited to the people you have, you have listed there. You can implement your PhD dissertations uh, helped by professors or uh, those who have Dr. Habilitovany degree, the DRHAB dot degree. And those people who do not have these degrees can uh, also um, help you out as an additional supervisor. So choosing the supervisor is the key thing. And then you need to pass through the admissions process and all its stages. In order to be accepted as a doctoral student, you need to be on the ranking list within the specified limits and to receive at least 50 points from the entire uh, admission process. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that this brief introduction have given you an impetus to meet us in person. Our secretariat is at the Center of New Technologies at the Banaha Street at Ochota campus. With a little arrow, you see uh, where the secretariat is located. It's very easy to come there. The secretariat is located at the ground floor right next to the entrance on Tuesdays and Thursday, the, the admissions process coordinator has their duty hours, and I invite you to see the uh, uh, to see our web page. And here you have the map with the Ohota campus, number one, bi Faculty of Biology, two, Faculty of Chemistry, three. This big building is the Faculty of Physics, four. Faculty of Geology, right across the street, we uh, Pastela Street, we have uh, the Faculty of Mathematics, Computer Sciences, and Mechanics, and we are uh, where the little arrow is, number seven, Center of New Technologies, and our Office of the Doctoral School. So again, a warm invitation to all of you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, dear candidates, my name is Matilda Wacławska. I am the president of the PhD Students' Council at the Doctoral School of Exact and Natural Sciences. On behalf of my colleagues, I am very happy to welcome you here today. When it comes to our doctoral school, we should mention that it's growing in popularity among the candidates, both national and international students. We are happy for this because thanks to that we can work and study in a rich international environment. The conferences, interdisciplinary conferences organized within the framework of our disciplines are a great opportunity not only to meet other PhD candidates, but also to exchange our thoughts and to search for new inspirations and links between the disciplines. We try to make the atmosphere the friendliest possible and we want everyone to be open to new people 
and new cultures. Dear candidates, when you decide to pursue a doctoral a PhD, you become researchers. That's why you will mostly study in labs under the supervision of your supervisors and other academic staff members. Obviously, you also need to complete and attend lectures, but there will be less of them than during your master's studies, for example. Some of them will not be uh, will not be regular classes. I invite you to look at our curriculum that is available on our website. I would also like you to know that apart from our exact and natural sciences classes, we also have additional classes that can help you to develop your soft skills or your methodological skills. We have a funding class where you can learn how to apply for a grant. And we also have publication strategy classes. We also have another interesting class that deals with the newest uh, advances in sciences, which helps us to understand the challenges that we, young scientists, have to face. We also have a students' club, and everyone interested in developing their soft skills can join this club. And you can also practice your English skills in a very friendly atmosphere of discussion within a group of PhD students. You can also learn how to become a teacher, a co-academic teacher, during your didactics internships. These internships are um, carried out in all of the disciplines, but each discipline has a different workload, but these classes are preceded by certain lectures and workshops on academic teaching. And to Capital, I would like to encourage you, on behalf of the Students' Council, to participate in the enrollment procedure, no matter what your scientific curriculum is, I think that you will be able to amaze our admissions committee with your scientific prospects. I also encourage you to engage in the activities of the PhD Students' Council. It is a good way to enrich the journey of a PhD student. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to this meeting where we would like to present the Interdisciplinary Doctoral School at the University of Warsaw. My name is Paweł Stempin and I'm the head of the school. Together with me we have Karol Samsel, who is the deputy head of Interdisciplinary Doctoral School, and Mr. Stanislaw Łanieski, representative of doctoral candidates. We would like to encourage you to take up training at our interdisciplinary and doctoral school combining uh, four the important aspects of them. First of all, interdisciplinary character. Second of all, the advantages of cooperating between the each doctoral students with two supervisors representing different academic fields. Third of all, individualization and customization of training. And third, fourth of all, particular value of the community created by the supervisors and PhD candidates. Let us start then. The first First part, in the first part, we will focus on interdisciplinarity and intersectionality of our research. Polish law on the, uh, says that uh, the subject of PhD dissertation is original and independent solution of one's own uh, research problem. The, the law stipulates that uh, the doctoral dissertation presents general knowledge of a candidate in field or fields of science. So the fields bit refers to the classification of the disciplines and fields uh, announced by the minister. However, the division into disciplines and uh, fields is uh, shifting 
but it shouldn't limit modern academic research. It is in fact the subject of research that is uh, to a large extent dictating the way of proceeding. And very often the complexity of research uh, phenomena uh, dictates the inclusion of methodologies from different fields. That is why we invite researchers who do not limit themselves to using tools kit from one academic field, but in fact combine methodologies from at least two scientific disciplines belonging to different fields of science. Ladies and gentlemen, once the project genuinely embraces different fields and disciplines of, of science, then according to our admissions criteria, the initial proposal description needs to include these disciplines and fields and indicate the primary discipline. Naturally, an interdisciplinary nature may concern research projects that have been carried out, uh, that would be carried out in one field, so one field but by many multiple disciplines. For as long as uh, the disciplines have uh, equal status, but in such cases, you need to take certain actions. So, the candidate needs to justify in its application this fact and also the description of initial proposal should, con should include the explanation as to what is the gist of interdisciplinarity or cross-disciplinarity of your research project. It is worth stressing, and this is pretty important, that the interdisciplinary methodologies worked out and established and elaborated by you during the course of your work on the PhD dissertation doesn't mean that you need to contribute to all the academic disciplines you want to represent. We offer you 20 seats in humanities, social sciences, and exact and natural sciences. In addition, we have two, 20 seats within the framework of quantitative psychology and economics program. These are for candidates whose projects combine disciplines uh, with uh, social sciences disciplines and exact and natural sciences, so economics, finances, psychology, computer sciences and mathematics. Stanislav, the floor is yours. Okay, each theory needs to be complemented with certain examples. Thus, we have topics appearing at our school that combine different one field of science. For example, my friend Tadeusz researches 16th century translation of uh, priest Wujek and other Jesuit translations of the Bible. He combines archival and translatological research, combines such fields as uh, linguistics, literary, literary studies, culture and religion, science, uh, sciences, called uh, history of philosophy. However, above all, we have topics where uh, PhD candidates combine uh, combine uh, disciplines from the fields of human science, uh, humanities and social sciences and exact and natural sciences. For example, our colleague Alex uh, tries to research hygiene uh, in, the, uh, in the ancient times, combining uh, physics uh, and biology and archaeology. It is worth stressing that many of our colleagues carries out research concerning, uh, concerning important issues for the Modernity, for example, Karolina, within the framework of her interdisciplinary in, cross-field project, co focuses on legal and cognitive sciences, and she looks at the broadly conceived AI and prepares e-regulation for AI. She poses the following question. Should that model should include uh, the anthropomorphic relation between the machines and uh, hu humans uh, based on processing the information. Anya from the uh, quantitative psychology and economics project researches global warming and fake news within different cultural and linguistic groups. Anya uses 
the recent advancements in the, in the machine learnings. For example, Michal, combining political sciences and administration sciences, prepares good practices and up implication for using wolves and likes uh, that are rehabilitated uh, in order to protect natural habitat of these animals. Albert, from the QSE, pro QPE program, researches color reefs and the way it needs to be protected. Doctoral candidates of the school include both those who have recently graduated from MA programs and those who have graduated from them many years ago and wish to develop further their competences and their the subjects flow from their personal experiences and professional experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, let us reiterate, through writing the dissertation at our interdisciplinary school of doctoral studies at the University of Warsaw, you can get very good preparation not, also for, not only for further academic career within the academia, but also for working fruitfully in other fields of dynamically changing reality, such as business, economy, economics or culture. So that is why we invite you to take up uh, the school, not, and we do. We invite not only to those who have recently graduated, but also, as mentioned by Stanisław, we want also uh, we want to come also those who wish to further their competences and have terminated their MA courses many years ago. The second part of our presentation is dedicated to particular relationship between the doctoral st students and the supervisors at our school, because in fact, every PhD candidate at our school cooperates with two supervisors representing different fields of science, disciplines of science. So let us describe what we call the triad of uh, PhD candidates, supervisor, supervisor. It is a factor that expresses and supports interdisciplinarity of uh, PhD candidates projects implemented at our school. First, ladies and gentlemen, in general, the way that uh, what interdisciplinary doctoral school offers to our doctoral students and uh, candidates uh, is the infrastructural background of a new type that wishes to embrace researchers who treat as something natural going beyond uh, fields and disciplines. It allows you to to research complex phenomena. Our school not only promotes innova innovativeness in terms of uh, scientific procedure, but also it wants to create this innovative character. It co-creates it through the triad, as mentioned before, or the triad of doctoral training. In a nutshell, we have intense and intensive and regular contact between the PhD candidate and the two supervisors ascribed to them. To this triad, we need to include uh, in intensive seminar work, uh, schools, and interdisciplinary seminars. In order to develop one's own understanding of interdisciplinarity and develop adequate, um, uh, proper methodology, a PhD candidate that commences studying at our school cooperates with at least two supervisors representing the disciplines or fields of science with which the doctoral dissertation is being prepared. Although we must stress that we are constantly sensitizing our doctoral candidates in their supervising, that there is an enormous importance in constant negotia negotiations of the concept of interdisciplinarity ascribed in a given doctoral project. Thus, we we have interdisciplinary methodologies that uh, are to shape genuinely the no innovative aspect of the entire dissertation. The interdisciplinarity in this case becomes a basis of all kinds of systematized reflection on scientific procedure of a given doctoral candidate. It's not an end point or a mere local detail 
goals of their analysis. It's permeating throughout the entire program. What do we mean by in institutional cooperation? Uh, well, we mean a key element of our research and training. It's worth stressing that according to the preferences of the doctor, student and supervisors and the topic and the discipline, this cooperation may take different shapes. Above all, this is a very good experience of going beyond what the supervisors have seen. For example, Tadeusz, who studies the translation of the Bible by Wujek, cooperates with a linguist and a literary and cultural historian. All this, uh, uh, these two supervisors take care about different fields, but also the team of three have uh, interesting meetings where uh, these perspectives are negotiated and forged. It is important because in the sphere of Bible translations, these perspectives have been individualized and looked at separately, and now they are combined. The same goes for Marta, which studies the impact of emotion and components of legal texts and administrative texts to the, co uh, co uh, to the processing of them by the recipients. Marta cooperates with uh, different disciplines. Thanks to this discipline, you, need, you can, you can co uh, integrate the theory of two disciplines and produce an, a, a cognitively interesting uh, research procedure. For example, corpus analysis allowed to create a good simuli for, for research uh, project. Martin came to us after having worked uh, many decades in business. Despite his enormous experience and uh, research, good research project, following the meetings uh, with his uh, supervisors, professor of philosophy and professor of experimental biology from the Polish Academy of Science, his vision crystallized as to the research project. At present, his uh, decision-making Mm, research on the brain are published in uh, renowned uh, journals. The international cooperation acquires a new dimension when applying when when applying a dissertation supervised by uh, an international supervisor. Thanks to the supervisor and doctor students triad. We, we can offer uh, we can offer amazing cooperation opportunities. For example, Aga from the QPE program manages uh, labor relationships and digital economy because her one of her supervisors comes from Florence. She can tap into Mediterranean data. Alex has just returned from her one month visit to the Bourgeon Compagnie University. University, where supervised by one of her supervisors, he studied samples for her PhD project. As it can be seen, the cooperation within the triad opens up new opportunities and allows the PhD candidate to reach interdisciplinary competences within the scope that uh, is very often not shared by the supervisors. In practice, it means that uh, supported by extraordinary researchers, our PhD candidates have an opportunity to co-create the vanguard of the science. An extraordinary help to this, to re receiving this goal, is the individualization of training at, the, at our school, and this is what we will explain in the third section of our presentation. I believe that it's clear for you now that the training at our school is, is for uh, the initial and experienced researchers who have clear individuality, courage and readiness to cross the accepted schema of, of action, schema of action. That is why uh, recruitment process is a competition that allows us to see and to get the most important viable interdisciplinary projects. Even at this stage of, of admission process, your task is to look for, seek the consent from one of the supervisors to take care of your project. Now, once you start the training at the interdisciplinary doctoral school, your privilege would be to cooperate with another supervisor the choice of a supervisor we are deeply convinced about that is an important 
manifestation of effective individualization and customization of training at our doctoral school. One of the most important aspects of the PhD student's path is the individual research plan. It is developed during the first year of doctoral study in strict collaboration with the supervisors. It is a plan of actions that year by year lead to the dissertation completion. The interdisciplinary doctoral school also provides you the opportunity to consult your individual research plan with independent experts. During the first year of education, the original project may undergo some natural modifications and even some more far-reaching changes. A doctoral school at the interdisciplinary doctoral school completes the curriculum of the leading discipline, but they may also choose classes in any discipline offered by their school. They may also choose methodological and specialized classes offered by other schools. That gives great flexibility regarding their schedule and the schedule of additional classes such as publication strategies or grant acquisition classes. The real great advantage and opportunity is to arrange an individual curriculum that allows you to acquire knowledge and skills that the candidate finds most interesting. They can be connected to the PhD dissertation, but they can also be classes on skills in which the candidate feels less proficient or simply they want to deepen their scientific interests. Cooperation with supervisors plays a very important role. For example, Marta, who studies the influence of emotions and components of legal texts on their processing, uh, enriched her research with corpus analysis. This was possible thanks to the substantive help of her supervisor, who encouraged her to join corpus analysis classes. Alex follows the core part of the program of the Doctoral School of Humanities, but he also completes it with subjects offered by the Doctoral School of Natural Sciences, such as parasitology. And he also attends courses run by the Doctoral School of Social Sciences. In the QPE track, we have more structured classes, often led by distinguished professors who teach us different aspects of quantitative methods, economics and psychology, with a special focus on our interdisciplinary character. It prepares us to work for academia and for business. We also have a collection and offer of additional classes organized according to our interests. If you are more focused on quantitative methods like me, uh, you can take all the available courses offered by the um, Faculty of Mathematics. And other PhD students chose subjects such as behavioral finance and consumer psychology. Regardless, each PhD student at our school can choose their classes from all schools. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching the end of our presentation. This is the fourth part of our presentation. We will tell you everything about the integration and building the community of the Interdisciplinary Doctoral School at the University of Warsaw. We are sure that the community of PhD students and supervisors at our doctoral school creates a unique opportunity to communicate and cooperate that transcend the borders of disciplines and scientific fields that open you up to a multitude of, dis of methodologies that teach you to have a deeper understanding of modern science and its specificities. And they also give you a chance to create international networks. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, an important aspect of the cooperation and integration of the, our doctoral school students is respecting their diversity, especially their scientific diversity. In this respect, it is key to recognize the scientific landscape of our school, which is 
co-created equally by all the PhD students. It is facilitated by the integration seminar of our school, which is supposed to bring together the interests, scientific interests of all of our students from different year groups, and that make them aware of their different scientific profiles and they teach them how to communicate their future research and dissertations in a non-specialist manner. This is a skill that a PhD student needs to demonstrate if they want to achieve the eighth level of the Polish qualification framework. Supervisors play an important role in the integration seminar. They participate in discussions on the projects that they supervise. They give recommendations and recommend the project to other members of the seminar. The doctoral school, the interdisciplinary doctoral school, is currently aiming to organize um, an integrating conference, off-site conference, for the QPE path. When we're talking about the QPE path, we need to stress that it's, it is important to integrate with other young scientists that carry out similar research projects. It gives you the opportunity to discuss with others. As the whole program is taught in English, we have many doctoral students from all over the world and in my year group half of the students are international students and it allows you to complement each other through different experiences to have exciting non-scientific discussions and to attend all kinds of events together and there are also great advantages of cooperation in an integrating environment that bring together young scientists conducting research in many different disciplines and fields and in many different organizational units of the University of Warsaw. They use different financing sources for research and they have different perspectives on, this pro on these projects. It is evidenced by the relationships that we have established as participants of the Doctoral Students' Council. We all feel that our experience, not just our scientific experience, but also those skills that come from the activities of individual faculties, institutes and their good practices, I feel that they provide an overview of our activities and also respond to the needs of our doctoral students. Thank you for your attention. I hope that the four features of the interdisciplinary doctoral school at the University of Warsaw, such as uh, interdisciplinary and cross-field character, the supervisor-supervisor-student triad, the individualization of the curriculum and the unique community co-created by supervisors and students, we hope that this will encourage you to join our doctoral school. We invite you to join us. Thank you.